Hey there, Michael here. Uh, here to answer this question, a ball is thrown horizontally at a height of 2.2 meters at a velocity of 65 meters per second, assuming no air resistance. Uh, first part, how long does, the, does it take for the ball to reach the ground? And second part, how far did the ball travel horizontally when it hits the ground? So I drew out the, the problem here on the, um, over here on the side. So first thing we're going to do is uh, realize that the motion in the x direction and the y direction are independent of each other. So we can actually tackle parts A and B uh, separately. So right, so how long the ball takes to reach the ground? Well, that's dependent on the force of gravity because gravity is the only force. So it's the only thing that's going to pull the ball to the ground, um, which means we can just look at the y uh, forces in order to determine, uh, in order to, to answer the first question. So for that first part, we'll recall that uh, the distance um, that you travel in the y direction is going to be equal to one half g being the acceleration due to gravity uh, t squared t being your time plus whatever your initial velocity is in the y direction times time plus whatever your initial uh, height in the y direction is so uh, now if the ball is going to be at some height uh, h in this case 2.2 then that is right our initial height. And we're looking for when it reaches the ground, which we're going to say is 0. And on top of that, since the ball has no uh, is only being thrown horizontally, there's no vertical initial velocity. So we can actually take out this whole middle term. And so what do we get when we make all these uh, adjustments, we get, uh, right, 0 equals minus 1 half g t squared plus h. Okay, and then uh, after slogging through all of the algebra, we're left with uh, t is equal to plus minus 2h over g. Now, since the ball is already starting up horizontally and time, you know, we aren't looking at the time going backwards, it only makes sense to take the positive time. So we can really just say that t is equal to the positive square root of 2h over g. Now, in the to, so that's the I'll let you put in the numbers for that and, and figure out what it is, but this is the functional form of it. As for the second part, uh, part B, you know, how far does the ball travel? Well, for the horizontal direction, right, there's no forces acting on it, so the distance that you travel uh, in the x direction is going to be uh, right. Uh, there we go. Uh, x, right, times whatever your velocity is in the x direction, multiplied by the time. And that's it. So uh, in this case, we've got an initial velocity in the x direction of uh, 65 meters per second. That's our vx. And from part a, we know what the time is. So the total distance that the ball travels uh, when it hits the ground is just uh, Vx times, I'll just put in the answer that we got for T, 2H over G. And that's it. These are, these are it. So it works for any, whatever numbers you want to put in. So as long as this scenario holds. So thank you and good luck.